morning good day uh, to everyone uh, rundown you know regards raid prices and stuff like that now we've got four targets in this raid there is uh, July 2023 um, from the deep now the level 100 target automobile with any uh, upgrade level of a impaler fleet you can do it with falcons as well but auto might hurt um, let's stick to the impalers u3 x1 fleet maybe what 7 to 12 minutes repair on auto pathing is sorted so you do not go through clouds the yellow clouds in every kind of uh, target we've seen over the years hurts super bad now 101 500 on drive you can get instant map repair or 15 to 20 minutes which would be instant base repair for both of these targets slightly more if one makes mistake the issue is it's said to be a skill target not autoable but if one chooses to auto it the instant repair or the 10 minute repair goes to four hours plus of repair that is damage from the cloud damage from the ships and their weapons in the target that we face this disparity in auto and drive is way way too much especially when you got to get like anything between 40 to 60 million points or even more you got to drive to hundreds of targets so the as a player what I see the thing process is push the player base to either put in seat time which become near impossible because of real life constraints work family and other issues related to real life or push them to blitz we make one target which can be autoed for low damage the others you can auto it but the fleet will get trashed with over 60% repair if you auto it. So you can do one and you coin or you blitz. That's where the game is headed now with every PvE event. 100 and uh, 100 is okay. Now 101, 500, the same issue uh, with X1 fleets. Uh, first raid of its type, you go with U3 you get okay damage x1 you can get a few boats x1 or you get a deal and get your whole fleet x1 that's a choice so my issue is the targets if they want to make the auto hurt keep it reasonable not that you lose 60 percent of your fleet in one target if you auto it uh, 100 auto is 10 minutes repair 101 auto even if it's an hour and a half that's acceptable it's four hours plus to auto uh, 101 with a U3 X1 fleet as I've checked mixed X1 fleet will just be the same about four hours the 600 it's a Fenrir target uh, time to kill can get a little high you can get instant repair on it or maybe about eight minutes ten minutes repair if one drives carefully but again auto is four hours plus repair again that huge disparity so basically you can auto one target for reasonable damage the rest you either blitz or you drive extreme options extreme difference in damage between the auto and uh, the drive aspect this is something that people have complained and another thing is this scroll bar at the side I do not know why management devs please like you guys are not able to look into the coding to change this you do not have the know-how how to do it or you just don't want to do it because it's pretty screwed up uh, with especially with people with a bad eyesight when you go into the prizes this becomes even smaller and at times you scroll to something you stop and it moves back up again which is really messed up it causes a lot of problems for years people have complained about this but nothing gets done because you just can't I guess now prizes again shadow impaler upgrade kit it's the fleet in use understandable uh, 1.25 mil for 50 but if you go down to older fleets like uh, 
gambit 500k gambit is not even in use anymore then uh, pangolin no one uses a pangolin it's useless as a defender 1.25 mil for that obliterators you can use it in some TLCs but people would prefer to use the dagger spine stronger better fleets 1.25 mil again Winterfang upgrade kits. I mean, who the fuck uses a Winterfang? It's it's just obsolete, absolutely. So you know, the upgrade kits, mine is at max, but give them out like you know in a batch of fifty for free. I think. Then Confessor upgrade kits. It's the same as the presently used ship. Twelve fifty. Apart from TLCs, we can't use it anywhere. So these two should be got down to 250k for 50 because it's six months or nine months older hull. Long shot upgrade kits. Again, the same thing. It's at capacity, but the price, I think, is the same price, 1.25. This is an aspect that is not looked at. It's the same in pillage. The pricing is just stupid. Um, older components, um, you all do not look into that anymore. Um, give you an example. Uh, yeah, this the Invader Plate EV10, 1.5 mil. Refit time is very high. This should be given out for like 250. Then onslaught engine again, 1.5 million. No one uses an onslaught engine. Everyone uses the newer variety the onslaught engine tactical onslaught engine they're not even used anymore it's the turbocharged engine that is in play now so these pricing has been left as it is for months years not looked at whatsoever by anyone and no one in the management probably looks at it or if there is a dedicated team uh, hydrofoil tax shield this is a joke explosive survival of 360 which won't even count one mil that should be like for I don't know 50k 25k older components reduce the cost of it maybe it's just an eye wash but it still is something that should be looked at it's a very simple aspect of the game if the management cannot do it dedicate players there's a lot of good players who know this stuff and they are willing to put in that effort to help the community as they do with useful information in discord then videos to help and quite a few of them would be happy to use uh, you know their time to help the game as they can so and uh, the same i think the issue goes into the hull store as well like uh, Shadow Impaler, you're paying 6 mil for it, which is understandable or a horror. But if you go into older hulls, um, like a Komodo, yeah, this is pretty okay, 2 mil, but no one will use a Komodo, it's useless. Pangolin, Komodo, give them out for 200k or 20k, they're absolutely useless. A Pangolin, what does it do in a base? Nothing. So, no idea why these are not looked at, but the primary issue remains is the target damage which uh, the management has completely failed in doing anything to help the player base. It is obviously a very, very deliberate attempt to push people into blitzing and coining and if you guys feel that this is helping the profits per quarter uh, or every three months or two months well i guess then this should be kept because you guys are losing players there is a lot of good players who are leaving the game because they fall behind and then the frustration creeps in of having to wait for people to prep for them and then yeah or go look at tlo's even tlo the tlo builds that you guys are putting into play for certain fleets it is not even looked at it's just absolutely bad builds that are put out in TLOs. So you give a TLO which is pretty costly, uh, 39.99, or give a single fleet uh, ship in a fleet for a certain amount with uh, real disaster build. So 
whichever way this goes, um, you guys need to look at revamping pricing in events and then TLO bills, which is not, you know, rocket science to look at. It's just left as it is. So, it just, uh, I thought I'd make this video, which in some way might help, or if I put it through at feedback, I put it on a page where players can have a look at it. I'm going to pass it to the CM, to devs, and people who in KickSci would be around to help or pass it along to management product line. But my call is that it will just be taken, a thank you said, and it won't be looked at. And if it's looked at, nothing will get done. If it, something is going to get done, we have pillage upcoming. Let's see you make a change in the pillage. So with that, once again, have a nice day and uh, stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. Agni out.